So have, have a nice round of applause for Mark Stuckrud, the president and founder, CEO, and Kelly Larson, Summit's CFO. I'm glad you guys were able to make it up to the stage. It looked like everybody at the Summit table had some pale ale over there. We've that, been celebrating. That wasn't offered up to the rest of the people in the room. It's available for purchase at your local bar, for sure, right? Mark, uh, it's the employees that have to really make this happen, right? Talk about how the employees take part in, in helping decide the direction that you go with your giving. Well, our, our management team is very linear and very close to everybody in the organization. And also, we have a, a bar in our rat skeller. So there's uh, no shortage of ideas and, and chatter and talk. And uh, all of us keep our ears open, and we all share our thoughts in terms of different groups and uh, causes to support. And it was a few years back uh, that we actually ended up putting together a solid committee of uh, four folks that really take a look at uh, the direction we're going in terms of community support. Well, the truth is that if you're in the food or beverage sector, the number of asks that you get, I think people have no idea like how many community groups come to Summit and say, hey, can we have a silent auction item or can you sponsor this event? And you know, you do need to have a plan, right? I mean, there was a point where you crossed over from ad hoc kind of, yes, we'll do this, to, to actually having more of a plan, right? Uh, we not only have a plan and a focus, but we had to establish a budget. And oh, that was your really job, worked. Callie, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like being the heavy in that department, right? But it's important, right? Maybe you can talk to that about, about being a smaller organization, how you get your arms around making sure you have the appropriate amount involved. Yeah, the number of asks that we receive, it is. It's remarkable, the number. But we set guidelines in terms of who we will donate to and an amount. And being on the flip side, I can't even tell you, it happens so often where someone that I've never met will come up to me and say, thank you, I'm a part of XYZ nonprofit, and you gave us, whether it was a case of beer or a large amount of merchandise to our event and... Nine times out of ten, it will, if it's in a silent auction, sell for more than the face value. And it's amazing to hear those responses from people we don't even know, or I didn't even know, but are, that are so appreciative. Mark, for a, for a small company, a newer company, what advice would you give about, you know, starting from the beginning and, and placing a priority on contributing? Well, I, I think it, it, the basic level that we start out, is we have to recognize that this is all about relationships. Um, that, no matter that's, what business you're in, that's... Exactly, yeah. exactly. All of us um, are interconnected. Uh, everything we do on a daily basis is based on relationships with others. So that, that's where we start and, and to have that recognition. Um, and then I, the other issue that we look at is that um, we always look at a long-term approach. Uh, if, if we get involved with a certain group or a, a cause, we just don't do it for the heck of it and see what happens. We, 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 it's important for us to be thoughtful, pretty methodical in a Scandinavian way. <laughs> and, um, but also, when we make a commitment, uh, that's also a commitment that people can rely on in the future because that's the real tough part, particularly working with nonprofits um, because they have a budget as well and they like to have predictability and reliability. You get, you get more out of it than you put in, you think? Oh, definitely. And um, it, it, it's really gratifying, I mean, for our beer hall, our rat skeller to have that utilized at least two times a week in the yeah. evenings is absolutely phenomenal, and it truly is a, a room for the community. It is a testament to thinking about the space inside your own corporate facilities, even a production facility, and is there a creative way you can repurpose that to add value to the community and ultimately add value back to the business? Yes. Mark, Kelly, congratulations. Thank you so much for all you do for the community. Thanks, guys.